So we're getting close to the end of 2017, so I thought I would just sit down, make a list of my top 10 favorite movies of the year, and then share them with you. If you're expecting me to also make a list of the top 10 worst movies of the year, it's not gonna happen. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. This list was pretty hard to make when I first sat down to make a list of all the movies that could potentially be in my top 10. There were like 20 of them, and I had to whittle it down, so I do have some honorable mentions I'm gonna list off before I get into the actual list. Some of my honorable mentions, movies that I really enjoyed, like Logan, It, only the Brave, Logan Lucky, were all movies that I really, really enjoyed, but they just didn't quite make the list. There were too many great movies this year. I couldn't. I just couldn't. There could only be 10. That's the arbitrary number that I've chosen. Before I get started with this list, I just want to mention that these are just my favorite movies of the year. It's going to be different from your favorite movies and your friends' favorite movies. These are just the ones that I felt I got the most out of in the year of 2017. So with that out of the way, let's get started. The last two movies by this director really let me down, so I'm happy to say that his newest movie made it as number 10 on my list, and that is Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk. I got to see this movie twice in theaters, both in IMAX 70mm film, and it was just spectacular. Everything from the way this movie looks to the way that the story is told is just top-notch filmmaking, and I'm so happy that I came out of the theater loving this movie. Number 9 on my list is not only a great movie, it's an important movie, and that is Wonder Woman. Starring Gal Gadot and directed by Patty Jenkins, this is a movie that really opens a lot of doors for female directors and female-led films. The movie is paving the way for more equality in Hollywood, but even that stuff aside, it's just great and fun to watch. Number eight is another superhero movie, and that's Spider-Man Homecoming. When Captain America Civil War came out and introduced us to this new Spider-Man played by Tom Holland, I absolutely loved him. I thought he was one of the best parts of Captain America Civil War. And then this movie came out and added even more to it. I thought this was a great movie. It has one of the best Marvel villains we've seen in a long time. It's really good quality filmmaking that we can expect from the Marvel Cinematic Universe at this point. Speaking of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, number seven on my list is Thor Ragnarok. Directed by Taika Waititi, this Thor movie is so different from the other Thor movies. The other ones were kind of a little more serious, and this one is just like, no, we're gonna have fun. A lot of fun. I think that this is probably the funniest Marvel movie. I had a great time watching it in the theater with all my friends. It is the highest ranking superhero movie on my list because I do think it is the best superhero movie of the year. At this point in the list, we're starting to move into movies that are maybe a little more dramatic, and number six is The Disaster Artist. Yes, this movie is hilarious, but it also has a really heartfelt story about friendship and trying to make it in the film industry. I think one of the best things is, is you don't need to have seen The Room in order to need to see The Disaster Artist. It's a great movie all on its own. Now this next director is kind of hit and miss with me. I'll either not like his movies or like them, and in this case, I absolutely love loved it. Number five is Baby Driver. This movie has such a cool style, I can't even really describe it. The way that the car chases are shot, and the way that the music is used, and the performances, and the story. Everything just comes together really nicely and creates a solid movie. Number four is the conclusion to a trilogy that can only be described as epic, and that is a war for the planet of the apes. Granted, it's not really an actual war, it's more a psychological war within the mind of Caesar. These movies have taken motion capture technology to just such another level, and at the same time it's telling a great story. If you haven't seen these new Planet of the Apes movies, I absolutely recommend them. Go check them out. Number three is a movie that for a while was my favorite movie of the year, but then getting close to the end of the year, I saw a couple more that just just inched it out. And that is Blade Runner 2049. If you have not seen the original Blade Runner, you don't need to have seen it in order to get what's happening in this movie. It explains it pretty well. The story that this movie is telling, paired with the world that it takes place in, paired with the performances of the movie, paired with the beautiful cinematography, makes a movie that I just can't stop thinking about. It's so intricate and layered and deep, it requires a lot of unpacking. It's a beautiful movie and I hope a lot of Oscar nominations comes its way. It absolutely deserves it. Number two on my list might be a bit of a controversial pick. It has sparked a lot of controversy on the internet, but I'm choosing it anyway, and that is Star Wars The Last Jedi. Ryan Johnson gave us a Star Wars movie that is so different from anything else we've seen in Star Wars. I've loved every minute of it. Well, maybe not every minute of it. There are some things in there that I'm not okay with, but... We're not going to talk about spoilers here. This is a movie that took the characters introduced in The Force Awakens and took them in just such a crazy different direction that I did not expect was going to happen. The story that unfolded before us really impressed me while I was watching the movie, and that is why it sits at number two. Plus, I just love Star Wars. Okay, here we are, my favorite movie of the year. In my opinion, what is the best movie of 2017? And that is Disney Pixar's Coco. This is a movie that affected me so deeply emotionally that I couldn't even talk for the first 10 minutes after having seen it. This is a movie that is animated so beautifully that some of the streets in the movie look like real photorealistic streets. This is a movie that tells us a powerful story about family that all ages can understand. This is a movie that introduces us to a culture that not all of us might be familiar with. I don't have enough good things to say about this movie, and I have very little bad things to say about it. I feel that this movie is so good that it might get a Best Picture nomination, let alone Best Animated Feature. So there we have it. Those are my top 10 favorite movies of the year. They're all pretty great movies if you haven't seen them.
Once we get into the new year, I'm going to make a video of my most anticipated movies of 2018, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Thanks as always for watching my video. You can comment below, let me know what your favorite movies of the year are. You can give me a subscription if you haven't done so already. And if you have nothing else to do, go watch more movies.